I get so many questions asked daily, so I thought this would be a good way to answer the most common questions asked, a little hub, just so you guys get to know me a little better. A lot of questions, so bear with me. How tall am I? I am almost 5'10", 5'9 and a half, 5'10". Um, this person asks, I struggle to find great pieces. Madewell, um, owned by J. Crew, they make really great jeans. Medium price for long, they're awesome. My trainer, Laura Keller, she's six foot one. She gets all her jeans from there. Um, the Good American, Khloe Kardashian's line makes really great for tall people. Um, also, AG jeans I've worn for a really long time. They make great jeans. Um, and also, I really, really love Mother. Mother is a very expensive jean, but if you buy a couple of pair, they'll last you your life. How do I create my schedule daily? Um, I work um, on an iPhone with an iPhone calendar. I have a work schedule, a home schedule, a kid schedule, and I'm really diligent about putting in times that at that moment. So if someone says, oh, I can do two to three, I put it in, I don't wait to do it. Um, there's a section on your iPhone called notes. And I don't know if you guys use this, but it's really great because you can write yourself a note, you can store it, you can send it, you can categorize it, you can attach it. It's a great, very, very simple, I'm not a techie, but it's a great simple way to keep very organized. But the one thing I can say is, if you think about it, write it down. Doesn't matter if you do it manually, if you do it on a computer, that's the best way to get things done and then cross it off your list. And yes, the list never really ends. How many days a week I work out, depending on my schedule with the kids, depending on my schedule with the work, um, that I do, I probably work out an average of three to four to five days a week. Describe a day of eating. Okay, I do a Kelly Levesque smoothie in the morning. Um, I think it's a great, it keeps me full, and if it's not a smoothie, I'll do egg whites um, and a little gluten-free toast and a half of an avocado with Himalayan salt. Um, I have a cup of coffee with So Delicious Coconut Creamer Vanilla. I know they made a new brand with half the sugar. I don't actually like it as much. I like the tall blue bottle. Um, or I love Alfred's. They make an amazing vanilla um, almond milk latte, and I also love Sweet Laurel, which is a local little place for almond milk lattes. But I do love myself at least one cup of coffee a day. Today I ordered from Flower Child since we're shooting. Um, I had salmon, which a little bit of a grain bowl, a little bit of a pesto with a salad. Um, I'll have cauliflower rice and soup, or I'll do some type of salad with a protein. I've recently gone pescatarian because I'm trying to cut out meat, turkey, fish, uh, turkey, chicken, and steak, which has really been hard, but it's really made a difference in my body. For snack, I'll eat almonds. Um, I'll have a cup of hot chocolate for dinner. Uh, really simple, low sugar. Um, those are kind of like my treats. For dinner, I'll do a great salad. I'll do like a vegan, like a vegan bowl of like all hot goodies, like mushrooms and cauliflower rice and um, carrots and zucchini and all different types of vegetables. And I'll use Bragg's amino acids. It's awesome. And a little bit of tamari, it's so, so good. Um, that's kind of like a typical day. Maybe a little tequila with some grapefruit juice. I'm trying to cut out wine, so there you go. I also did a YouTube video, What I Eat in a Day. You guys gotta check it out, because it's good. The nutrition supplements I take are, uh, I take fish oil, I take a hair, skin, and nail. Um, I take Viviscal. I take um, vitamin D, 25,000 units, twice a week. I take a great probiotic. Um, I take Synthroid for my thyroid. Oh, I take vitamin C. For my kids, I give them a probiotic supplement and an omega supplement. I drink lots of alcohol during the week to get through my... I do, not really, I mean a little bit. Um, I drink, I'm trying to cut down on wine, so I'm drinking a little bit of tequila with soda, a lot, a lot of lime, and a splash of grapefruit juice. I love it, it's refreshing, it's low calorie, and I'm finally listening to you, Kelly Levesque. Um, I do love rosé. Um, I drink probably twice a week during the weekends. I'll probably drink most days on the weekend. Yeah, probably. That sounds bad, but I'm trying to be truthful. How do I maintain my weight? Um, I think it's 75% diet. I think it's 25% 
um, working out. I really try. I mean, I work out again three to four to five times a week. I have totally changed my diet because I felt like I was plateauing. I used to, I think, eat too much protein was my issue. I'm eating a lot of fish, a lot of shrimp. I'm not eating at the moment steak, turkey, or chicken. If I do, it's very, very small amounts, and I'm eating a lot a lot of vegetables and a little bit of grain. So I'm answering the question from a 36 year old female who asked me, did I do IVF? Did I freeze? Um, I did freeze. I froze when I was 37 years old. Um, I froze embryos. I had met Scott and we did it together. Um, I do think it's an insurance policy. If you're worried, you can freeze eggs or you can, if you have a partner that you'd like to try embryos with, I think it's always a great backup. You know, it, if it makes you feel better for me, I had done that in January and February in the same year I got married and then I got pregnant naturally on my honeymoon. So I think because I did it, it was in the back of my mind that I kind of checked the box and I didn't have to worry about it. Um, I do think the younger you do it, the better um, chance you have of freezing your eggs, if more success rate, or if you read more about it, um, you'll know that as well because the statistics as we get older, your egg quality and your egg quantity goes down. Um, listen, there are a lot, a lot of ways to have a baby. Freezing, IVF, natural, adoption, foster, there's no one way. If you want a baby, you'll get one. Um, I take protein powder. I do a vanilla pea protein powder. I use the Tone It Up from the Tone It Up Girls. Um, and I also use, love Vital Proteins. Um, Ancient Harvest is also a really good one. And I also do an after workout drink called A Prey. It is so good. I love the vanilla flavor. It's awesome. I also use a collagen powder um, from Vital Proteins that I really, really love. My favorite sandals. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I love the Valentino plastic. They're half the price of the leather, the studded ones, they're awesome. They just came out in baby pink. You can get them in nude or hot pink, but I'm addicted to ancient Greek sandals. Super inexpensive and they're awesome. They're just on trends. You can buy two or three pairs without breaking the bank. And I'm not gonna lie, I love me some Tevas. I just do. I love me a flip flop, beige, gold, silver, black. I love it. This is a question from a 37 year old woman who has four kids. She's getting ready for summer and she wants a tip, the number one tip to get bikini ready. Um, watch your salt, don't overwork out. Um, go on a treadmill, walk in an incline, run in an incline, get your cardio up, do burpees. Try not to eat after eight o'clock. That will also really help. But the most important thing is you have to cut your sugar. So watch your alcohol and watch your candy, watch and don't eat your, the kids' chicken fingers, don't double eat. I know you're a mama of four and it's easier to like eat with them, but if you're gonna eat with them, eat. Just eat your food and let them eat their food. My heart necklace is Maya Brenner, M-A-Y-A-B-R-E-N-N-E-R. I think the best product for blackheads and um, really good for exfoliating. Uh, Peter Thomas Roth, he makes a great exfoliant. Um, there's these pads um, that you do once a night, kind of like the old school um, Noxema pads, but they're awesome. I definitely recommend, and it's great for um, deep cleansing. I love Super Goop sunscreen to control my melasma. I love Kula, which is C-O-O-L-A, which is in the blue bottle. I use that on my kids as well. As I also use Blue Lizard on my little um, baby gray. Um, I wear a hat, I wear probably a minimum of SPF 50 and I put it on like 50 times a day. I sometimes use a tinted mineral um, sunscreen as well from Kula. I use one from Super Goop. I'm constantly, um, and the Aetna MD is also an amazing face sunscreen. Um, you know what, I'm very lucky. My life is pretty wonderful, but of course we struggle. I struggle with the life-work balance. I struggle with being present or not present. I struggle with being on this too much, not being on it enough. It's difficult, you know? I think Instagram and Facebook and social media, like everyone's life looks amazing, but that's what 
everyone wants everyone to think. I mean, I think people are as guilty as I am about making it look wonderful. Um, but of course, you know, making time for my husband, making time for myself, how, you know, self-care, having like an hour or 15 minutes or five minutes just to think properly. I constantly feel like I'm having to like write something down, send an email, send a note, a reminder. Like I emailed this mom at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. I'm like, is there any way I could be snack mom on four, at 4.30 and six o'clock on May 6th? You know, it sounds mundane and it sounds you know, but it's my family and I want to try to be as present as possible. But yes, all the little things like, you know, people um, and kids getting sick. My mom is very ill right now, so that's been a real struggle, um, which, you know, I don't like to talk about, but social media and, and that isn't real. It's not a true reflection of, of someone's life, especially not mine. But I'm very blessed, I'm very happy, and I work very hard um, to to have that life that, you know, I've always wanted kids and a husband and I'm, I'm really happy. But yeah, it's always a little bit of a struggle. How did Scott and I meet? Um, I knew him for many years. He had broken up with someone and then I had broken up with someone, but I was in no space to date. So um, I took a break for about a year and just dated and didn't get into a relationship. So he asked me out for an entire year and I finally we had one kind of meeting in the beginning and then a year later, um, he convinced me to go on a date. And that was it. Three kids later, come on daddy, I'm here. Hmm, what are my tips from going from <laughs> baby one to baby three? Listen, do you have like four hours? Um, you know, you take one baby at a time. What you know on your first baby and you think the whole world is gonna end if they have formula or if they go on the floor. And then baby two comes along and baby one pulls their hair and sibling rivalry and you know that formula and being on the floor won't kill them and then now they're both on the floor and then comes baby three and you're outnumbered and all three babies are on the floor and they're all on formula <laughs> and it's just what you know at baby one you really don't give a shit about in baby three what you think like you're the world's gonna end i think with with Brooks, things that I would never do with him, like I don't even think twice about it, you know? I still worry, of course, but there's a big difference and I think my confidence, like my confidence by the time I get, I've gotten to baby three, I've, I've kind of got this, I know this, I know that that's a cold, that's the flu, that's a really bad boo-boo, that's nothing to write home about. You know, like I feel, I definitely feel much more confident as a mom, that's why I've started working a little bit more because I feel like I have everything under control as much as you know, when we really have no control to my ability. Whew, how do I prep my home life? Okay, we have got this. Everyone has a schedule. You know, I'm very organized. I try to get ahead of um, each kid's needs and what their needs are for their school and are there just where they are with their um, classes or just play dates. You know, I try to keep it as full as possible when I'm gone to kind of make up for that with me not being there. Um, but I am a list maker. Gray has a list, Scarlett has a list, Brooks has a list, my husband has a list. We are really, really communicative. And I think what's really great um, is that if something's wrong, I say it, I don't wait to say it. Um, I think being passive is probably one of the worst traits. Um, in terms of like getting things done and being honest about your needs, you know, you have to say if something's wrong and you have to speak up about it. And I think that's really, really important when you're building a family and you're trying to make your family work. There's no judgment. I don't care if you guys ask me this question. Yes, I have a nanny. Um, she is amazing. I have a woman, Tita, who helps me with the house. She's incredible. She's my life. I love them. They are my everything. I, they're my wives, I, I die for them. I'm so not ashamed to admit it because I could not be here in front of a camera with you without having them. I know some people pretend that, oh, they do it all by themselves. Um, and that's amazing if you can do that. I personally can't. I don't have any family that live here. I don't have any family within 2,000, 4,000 miles from here. I'd die if my mother could help me or my grandmother who passed away or anyone in my whole family could help me, but I don't, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I do not do this on my own. I have a lot of help, and I love them, and I take care of them, and we are a tribe, and I'm so, judgment, no judgment, I don't, I don't care.
I do do intermittent fasting. I've done it off and on for probably about 20 years. I recently um, kind of documented on my social, my experience of going to We Care and fasting for a long time. I think it's great. I think it's helped it's helpful with weight loss. I think it's helpful with changing your taste buds. I think it's great for getting your metabolism. You know, some people do it for six hours, some people do it for eight hours, some people do it for 12 hours. Um, but I do think it really, for me, it gives me a lot of energy and it's great, great for maintaining my weight. Okay, I think I got through most of them. We're gonna do this as an ongoing series. I love answering questions. If I miss some, you guys need to answer. Comment below, comment on my social, DM me, and I'll try my best to answer it. Um, I always wanna be honest with you guys and I always want your feedback. Um, next up, we're gonna get a makeup brush lesson from my girl, Nikki LaRose. A little one-on-one -on, -one on what brushes to use. I do think they are the number one under like really underestimated beauty product that's out there that we use every day that we don't know enough about. We don't know how to clean them. We don't know how to take care of them. And so she's gonna give us a little lesson on that. Thanks guys.